Alrighty guys, today we're going to be showing you how to connect a BNC and male DC plug to your camera. So what we're going to be using is some RG59 cable. Now it normally comes like such. It's one cable that you can split off into two cables. Okay, so the thicker one is your coaxial cable. And the thinner one in my left hand is your power cable. All right. So when you're pulling it through your roof and you're busy laying up your cables, you're going to be pulling one single cable. But at the end of the day, when you're connecting it up, you're going to be splitting it off into two different cables. One going into your power supply and the other going into your DVR slash camera. So, first things first, we're going to split the cable a little bit. I'm going to pull off a little bit more. I like a little bit of slack to work with. And today we're going to be using simple flat screwdriver. Simple Phillips head screwdriver or star screwdriver. Good pair of side cutters. Your BNC. It's a three-part BNC, as I, th I think they like to call it, and that simply screws off there. And you've got your BNC. Now, this BNC has a little screw right over there, and that opens up so you can put the thicker coaxial cable, the copper piece at the center piece in the middle. So we'll be getting through to that. Then we have your male DC plug and that plugs directly into your camera's power. Now here we have a Hikvision 16DOT IRF. It's a 2.8mm lens camera. One of my favorites to work with easy to mount and plus this cable comes out the bottom which is great if you want to mount on a PVC box so here is your connections for the camera side of things uh, this little jobby don't worry too much about it it changes the mode so if you're using a Tahua camera or DVR system then you're able to then switch the mode between TVI, AHD, CVI, CVBS. So you can go right down to analog, um, super analog, the whole cameras. Okay, so your BNC that we're going to make basically plugs straight onto the video port there. You'll see it's got a little edge there. Push it down and lock into place. Now there, I'm pulling, it's not going anywhere. All right, so for the sake of it, I'm going to unplug that and then your DC plug or your direct current current plug, that's your 12 volt power plug that goes straight into there. And once we've got that connected up to the power supply, this camera is going to be getting power. So I'm going to unplug that for a second, put that aside. And let's get started. Right, so we are going to start with the the power side of things, the small uh, thinner cable. So we're just going to strip a little piece off. There you see we have the exposed red and black cables inside. We're going to strip off another little piece. It went a little bit hard there. Oh, yes, before I carry on, this is our end result. This is what we want to achieve. We want a nice sealed off BNC connection for our camera side and a nice sealed off 12 volt DC male plug for our camera side. The other side of this cable, which we're doing now, for example, that will be plugged into your DVR side of things. So your one cable will end up at the DVR. 
So this side of the cable will end up at the DVR side. And this, exactly like looking like this, will be pointing towards your camera side. Obviously, just like I showed you now, that actually plugs into the camera. Right, so let's put that away. Let's get back to it. So we're going to have two cables. Strip that one a little bit more. Oops. There we go. It's looking a bit better. And we'll just twist them up at the ends. Keep them nice and neat and together. We're going to chop off most of that. We only want a small piece going into the into the uh, male DC plug. Same on that side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our star screwdriver. And we're just going to open up those two small screws inside. Now, when you get them, you'll see there's a positive and negative actually listed there. Now, I like to use the red cable for my positive and the black one for my negative. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll simply slot it in. Tighten it up. Black one. Okay, I'll cut this one a little bit short. So normally we try and keep that nice and even. Tighten it up nicely. Right. So again, normally we try and keep the two cables nice and even. But for the sake of this demonstration... I'm just going to leave it just like that. It's not going to give you any hassles as long as those cables are in there nice and tight. I'm pulling on those two now. That's going nowhere. Right, onto our uh, BNC. Our BNC, this one over here. So normally, <laughs> I normally forget to actually put this sleeve over first. So <laughs> the problem with forgetting that is um, you can't really uh, slip it on after you've installed this BNC. So, let's get right down to it. Aim of this is to actually open it up nice and neat so we can strip off a nice piece of uh, that braided cable you can see here. So if I just scrunch it up a little bit, it's exactly like your DSTV cable. Except, um, obviously, we've got the power running alongside with this cable, which makes things much, much easier. Okay, now for our little flat screwdriver, what I normally do is I sort of slip it in there and just try and straighten out those cables nicely. Right. We can pull them off to, to one side. Uh, what I do then is I just twist it up nicely. Make it nice and neat there for ourselves. And then this, this copper, well, metal shielding, you can simply break off. Alternatively, you can chop it off with your side cutter. So, aim of the game here is this cable here, we're going to be wrapping around that crimping part. Well, let's not call it crimping. You've got to close that copper over that little sheath there while allowing it not to touch that center portion there which we're going to screw in now so we're going to measure it up a little bit want it about there so i'll be trimming that piece of white section just about there and what i want to do without damaging the cable in the center is just strip it off neatly there we go. So that was quite simple. We'll take our little star screwdriver again and we'll open up that little screw there. Mm, nice and tight. Open it up nicely. A little bit more.
Now occasionally these uh, little screws get stripped, which is not the case here. So we've now got our screw protruding, it's out. So now what we want to do is we want to take that little piece of copper over there and we want to slot it into that little hole that we see over there where the screw goes in. So we'll just slot it in. There we go, nice and snug fit. There's no copper actually protruding on the outside of that. So we're good to tighten it up. Again, nice and gently, we'll tighten up that screw. There we go, not going anywhere, giving it a bit of a tug. If it does slip out, just, um, you know, uh, if it does slip out, loosen the screw again and uh, just try and reinsert it with a little bit more maybe pressure on the screw or alternatively, you know, um, you can chop off a little bit more of this, this white stuff here so you can get in a, in, inside a little bit deeper. So what we do now, quite simply, is we take our long piece of copper cable there and we simply try and go in between those little crocodile teeth and wrap it around this BNC. Now why we do this is when you're working with the camera and you've got to connect it up, sometimes this can go loose if you just crimp it straight on the, uh, the cable. So that's why we make this little bit of longer cable here. Okay, there we go. Got it wrapped up there. Now, you can use a normal set of pliers. I've gotten pretty used to uh, doing BNCs. I've got installers who also do it exactly the same way. But we just use a simple pair of side cutters. And without, you know, hurting the cable you've just wrapped around, just gently pry that, those little crocodile clips closed. Now you'll see you'll have that little tag in there. You can get rid of that. That can only give you issues with touching this little piece of, well, center piece of, or center pin, let's call it that. You just chop that off. Once that's chopped off, look for any loose ends. There's one over there. Loose ends, done. BNC, nice and tight. Slide over the sheath. Make sure it clicks in. Bob's your uncle.